everyone, and welcome to Toy Break episode 289. I'm Aileen. I'm George. And I'm still Ben. Yay! The whole gang's here. Uh, well, mine is Scott and Sergio. Uh, Toy Break is your weekly internet show featuring news and reviews all about designer vinyl, plush, action figures, events, collectibles, interviews, weird little toy goodies, whatever we can bring you in said wonderful world of toys. That is what we aim to do. Let us start as we always do by thanking our site sponsors like Frombies. Tomanasuke. Art Attack Toys. Suburban Vinyl. Vinyl Riot. Dragatomi. Button Lab. Tenacious Toys. DKE Toys. 3D Retro. Happy Panda Toys. And Victory Deluxe. Where what? you can get a free Toy Break poster just by putting Toy Break in the comments. Ooh. Or I want a Toy Break poster or something. Why did I get a look? What look? Your nonplussed look. <laughs> That's my face. Oh, why did I get your face? Your face. We have a couple donations we need to thank people for. We need to thank Colin from Nova Scotia, Canada, Ooh. that is, and hey. Gary from Georgia. So thank you so much for those donations. Canada. Hey. Where America is Canada's Mexico. <laughs> it's an old what? joke. It's from like a bajillion episodes oh, ago. Oh, gosh. Anything from uh, Idaho yet? Don't, no, why do you just, gotta poke the bear? We're just going to love the people that give it to us. Like, awesome Nova Scotia and awesome Georgia. Yes. Yeah. You Yay. guys are purple in our book. Yeah. And that's a good thing. That's the map. Is... You guys are purple in our book. You... Can we make a shirt? <laughs> I'm purple. Let's talk about our genie stroll contest we have going on right now. Okay. Let's. This is a custom hand-painted OMFG stroll. This was done by Dan Brodzik from Floating Eye Studio. You can head over to the forum at toybreak.com and post whatever you want for Christmas or other applicable holiday applicable in the contest section. <laughs> Deadline is December 25th. You will win the awesome thing that Dan made. And go check out Dan's work at floatingeye.com. What's Indeed. in that clip? And what's... if you need 3D printing, Dan does that. Oh, what's in that clip of a little holiday? <laughs> you know, Chanaka. <laughs> Kawanzika. <laughs> that kind of stuff. Christmas Kwanzaa. I guess Hanukkah passed, so that's not. Yeah, really you can want it for anymore. next Hanukkah. Maybe your birthday is close. Oh, like baby Jesus's. Maybe <laughs> you want a President's Day gift. Hmm. Maybe your family does that. Maybe Groundhog Day is your favorite. <laughs> Can't wait for my Groundhog Day gifts. Yay! Voicemails. <laughs> All right, let's get to some voicemails. So actually, do we have a cool little segment that? voicemail no yeah. that was it do. that was it <laughs> voicemail except the way george did it <laughs> all right so we have three voicemails all right, that we're gonna get it. to during the show should we introduce them or have we introduced this show did we do that already yeah <laughs> forgot yes let's right, do this let's, one let's just start with let's one. just play a voicemail professional hi toy break it's sarah from oregon I just call in to say hi. I love your guys' show. It's great. I can't wait for every episode every week. It makes my week. Um, I'm excited today. I just got my Lego Back to the Future car, so I'm about to go put it together. I've had a little bit of wine, so we'll see how the drunk and toy put together goes. I don't know if I can follow the instructions for a four-year-old, but we'll see. But I love your show. And I'm waiting for George to do his, like, grumpy boy toy show. I want him to do a show where he just tells us what's bad about toys, how horrible some of the toys out there are. Because I love hearing about how good some of the toys are compared to someone that sculpts them. But I think it would be great to hear about why some of them, I mean, we know why some of them are so bad, but to hear his opinion about why them are so bad would be even better so love you guys love your show keep it up hopefully the lights stay on and you keep putting them out have a great day love you guys Bye. well thank you so much for calling sarah why does everybody think i'm grumpy grumpy toy boys <laughs> come on grumpy toy boys <laughs> i believe boys. she's referring to grouches on couches grouches on couches someday the, the show are you ever going to do that 
as soon as Aaron steps it up and does it. Crouches on couches. <laughs> but notice she didn't want I'm Ben on there because Aaron Ben likes stuff. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Can I be a grouch? I don't think I could be a grouch. I like everything. I don't like it. I'm George. <laughs> <laughs> I know what Ben's going as for Halloween. <laughs> grouch on a couch. All right, well, maybe grouch When's on your couches. grumpy toy boys? <laughs> I think Grouch on Couches is a better name. <laughs> I like Grumpy Toy Boys. <laughs> Grumpy Toy Boys. I'm with Sarah on that one. Well, thank you so much for calling in, Sarah. And uh, we will get back. To sh- should we take a start with some other stuff and get back to voicemails in a few minutes? Yeah, sure. Okay, great. How about one piece of news? Let's hear it. This is not a toy. Break. No, just not a toy. Oh. Uh, it's a Kickstarter presented by the Design Exchange, Canada's Design Museum. The proposed exhibit is called This Is Not a Toy, and yeah. it uh, considers the conceptual toy as accessible art and design object, unique contemporary cultural signifier, and fetishistic commercial product. That's what I've been saying. <laughs> That's what we've been saying this whole time. Since 2006 when we started. We've always been saying that. That was our slogan when we first started. Yeah, it was. Unique contemporary cultural signifier fetishistic commercial product. God. You forgot unique. Wait, do I... we need that or not? That? <laughs> yes. So now I believe that they, they said... Make it? Did they do their... They're still going right now. You can go back it right now. But like, has it reached it yet? No. Okay. Not as of this filming. But uh, I believe they were saying that it's going to be the only... It's the only planned exhibit with... Every production Dunny? Oh. Okay. On display, which seems crazy. How is that going to happen? So Kid Robot should be like a huge backer for them, Kid but Robot. does that mean like even the Christmas stuff? Like all those crazy weird limited? They've got it. If it was a like production, crazy. I guess, right? That's cool. That's awesome. I, there was I, a lot of calls in their, in their promo ad and there was course. a lot of like Dunnies and monies and things. It looked to be a lot of money stuff. They really should get like all the all the preliminary companies involved, like you know the guys from Strange Co and the guys from Japan and you know Key and Toy to R. Probably it's Kevin be more Winnick like a and Dunny Money retrospective. Mm, don't do that. Don't do that. If you're gonna do it right, get get the. But think about it this way: for where we're at in toys now. Mm-hmm. A lot of people entered the designer toy scene through Monies and Dunnies and Kid Robot. True. Just because they came in a different way than you did or I did or George. Like, that doesn't mean but that's that like, way is bad. That's like people saying, like, I collect designer vinyl toys. Like, what do you have? I have the the Dunny. Okay, what else? Oh, that's it. I just, I just <laughs> The Kid collect. Robot Simpson figures, too. Look at this Judgy <laughs> McJudgerton over here. I'm better than everybody because I have I'm more not, designer toys than everybody no, else. No, I'm just saying, like, if you're going to do, you know, this... Well, let's go see what they're going to do. Let's go. Yeah, watch the I think they again. have more than that. I was just saying I think that's part of the exhibit that they have. They well, also the, have other things. Okay. We'll that's have to cool. wait and see what happens. Okay. You should go watch the video because obviously Ben has not, but there's more than just Dunny's. I just brought that up because I thought it was an interesting All right. part of the exhibit. What's next? Proposed exhibit. Um, I think we should actually start with uh, some very interesting blind box. What? Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time! <laughs> Today's blind box is coming to you from 9 to 5 Warriors. Working 9 to 5. Different, what a different, way to no, make different, different. Different. Working 9 to 5. It's oh. not. It's not toys with Dolly Parton. I thought it was all oh. taken and no given. Oh. There's some. There's some nine to five remnants. That looks like Wait, bring office. That, over here. that looks like office stuff. <laughs> there's some nine to five remnants in there. Oh. Let's see. Sugar. Yeah. And rubber some sugar. Band. Oh, this is the good. The brown sugar. Some pencil shavings. It looks like office material. Well, hey, nine to five. Well, you know what? Let's in in order to get ready. What we're gonna do is open up some wax packs figures. Uh, wax packs trading cards. Um, in order to get up to speed on what these are going to be, let's watch a short little intro to the cartoon. Does it have Dolly Parton? Five Warriors, it does not. Fighting begins. The 
there's no telling which side will win. Some good, some bad, some crazy, some rad. Commandos and bandits, they both just gotta have it. Nine to five warriors. They are nine to five warriors. Custard, it's always mischief. A racer may try to fix it. It's mayhem in an office mosh pit. These are your nine to five warriors. Gentle electricity, brought them all to life, you see. This is how they came to be, brought to this reality. It happens every day from nine to five. All right. Well. That was awesome. Yes. Doesn't that look like it could be a cartoon you would have yes. watched? Yeah. That was pretty cool. I would have watched that. And like when you watch it, you're like, I want those toys. Uh, so this was, this was the note. Actually, the note's kind of cool. Whoa. All, I've never seen type I've never on seen legal type. paper. Yeah, I haven't either. And it was pretty cool <laughs> to read it like this. Um, so this is all made by um, a guy named Brandon uh, Braswell. Braswell? I'm not sure Thank how to you, say Thank you, Brandon. That. Um, he sent these over. And... Uh, it's just something he created, you know, he, he's he's really into telling the story. He liked when toys back in the 80s and stuff, like, there was always a story to go with. There was a cartoon, they were based on something. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't have the money to make a run of toys right now, so he's starting with the story. He's created oh, okay. that introduction to a cartoon. Maybe he should do a Kickstarter. Two packs, all of them. He's already got the video. It, it, that's true. So he's that's kind of what this is all mm. leading up to. So right now he's starting Ooh. out with trading cards. Nice. Uh, wax pack made this in the is USA. Really, look at this. This is nice. Yeah. There's well a done. video on his site of like showing the person like sealing, like folding and sealing the wax pack. It takes like 30 seconds to seal just one pack. Like I can't imagine how much work goes in. I would like to redo what's in these wax packs. You should. Dextrose, corn syrup, gum base, sugar, artificial flavors and color, erasers, pencils, tape, donuts, sprinkles, bread, lettuce, tomatoes, lead, tape, paper clips, rubber bands, thumbtacks, potato chips, and most certainly containing nuts. So if you're allergic. To Stay away. <laughs> no, so there's the, not really those things. So the in idea here. behind these guys is it's an it's, it's so in an funny. office, I get it. and after the lights go out at night, the office has a there's a, two warring factions: the water cooler commandos and the break room bandits. So it's Got like it. it's like, let's open them up and see what some of the characters look like. It was so fun and six. easy. It felt so good in my hand. I think hand. there's 28 cards total for the set of these guys. I like the can of nuts that fights. <laughs> he's the crazy one. It says 30% more nuts on his... Because he's nuts? Because he's nuts. And... Oh, these smell good. <sighs> mm. it smells like cardboard. Settle down. No, it smells... It smells really good. Dust busters. I got dust busters. See him? See his can, though? 30% more nuts. <laughs> oh, God. It's crazy. BLT. Mr. Big load of trouble. Mr. Fix-It. All Dust. right. Ooh, I got a synopsis card. Out of service. So yeah, there's 28 cards total. I hope we get the whole set. Who's the explosion specialist? What is he? I think he's a ball of rubber bands. That's what I thought. Okay. Or he's a meatball. <laughs> but I think he's a ball of rubber bands. <laughs> Brother, or a meatball? Brotherly loathe. It's a pencil. Two <gasps> pencils. But one's the eraser head and one's the... Nice. Crisper right. crawlers. I think that's Lieutenant Lead, by the way. All right, now I'm opening up my second pack. This is very... These are awesome. Sorry. Collect all 28 of the 9 to 5 Warriors first series cards. This is awesome. Okay. Six office Battle warfare rat. trainers. People want these. I think people are going to want these. I want them. No, Ooh. but I mean, I think if you work in an office job... The wise... Also look at, did we look at the package? Did we show this? The wise grand maxter. Maxter. Oh, I got a dupe. Brotherly loathe. Oh, splash zone. Oh, oh hello. Interesting. Nice. Hourly rage. Get She's it? made out of sugar. Good morning, Kyle. Yeah, she is. <gasps> it's a Mexican chip off. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. The water cooler commandos. Card oh, number two. Man, these are awesome. Oh, I just got that one. Water cooler commandos. Nice. Alrighty. Did Fantastic. We, do you think we got all 28? I don't know. I feel like no. I feel like no, too, but I, I hope so. But they are numbered nicely on the back. No, I want uh, them. And on the front. And on the front. We'll These have to are find awesome. out afterwards. So, uh, website, I believe it was 9to5warriors.com? Yeah, the number 9 to the word 2, the number 5, warriors. 9to5warriors. All right. Awesome Check work. Out. And Good thank work, you, guys. Brandon. 
thank you for sending these over and definitely keep us in the loop for when the toys are coming out because we'll that needs em. to happen. Look at all my little things. Let's get rid of that pile of garbage. Let's get here. We got here. this stuff. <laughs> Yoink. Excellent. All right. So on to reviews. What's up? Uh, sh <laughs> <laughs> How about these? First thing first, giant microbes and computer virus oh, what's this? dolls and digits. What? Oh, see, you're throwing things across the, the room. There's like a secret one in there. Ugh. Okay, so first I'm going to tell you about these things, then we'll... Okay. Okay, so uh, these are by Giant Microbes Incorporated. Uh, mm -hmm. They're novelty plush. This one is a, a novelty plush microbe. There's a hundred, over a hundred versions of this guy, different microbes to choose from. They have what? stuff like the common cold, flu and sore throat, brain cell, nerve cell, and blood cells, um, bed bugs, bookworms. They've got all sorts of things that, you, that are there. Okay. Uh, we'll look at this one in a second because it's awesome. And then what you're holding is the computer virus line. Zeros will, and ones. You will notice that it's designed using the zeros and ones of binary. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's currently four uh, geeky flavors of those ones. There's uh, malware, worm, trojan, and virus. This is a trojan. Whoa. Yes. And now I believe that the tags are supposed to look like pop-ups. Like it's supposed to pop up. Oh, look at that. Like what pops up on your computer. Ta-da. Gave you a virus. Like you got a virus. You've That's got, funny. You've got malware. You've got trojan. You've got a trojan. Mine looks like I could wear it to a party. Are they... They're it, ma oh, they're made out of zeros and ones. I yeah. Can, yeah. You see can, it? There's yeah. nothing ones, else but ones, zeros, zeros and ones. It looks like just a bunch of weird things, but that's ones on top and zero, and then the body's a one, and there's a zero and a one. And so they're shiny. I think the ones are shiny. Now, feel, I, I find this interesting. It's almost like spandex. Yeah. It's Ooh. got a like, kind of a fun feel to it to play with. I get it. So you kind of like like this, like, hey. Yeah, you can play like that for uh, I don't want to. I'm What's going this on? One. Oh, okay. Ooh, what is that? Uh, these were the ones that were in the other pack inside there? The, yeah, this is the um, digits. The worm. This is the computer virus digits, the keychain version of the computer viruses. I see. And then see all the zeros. I've got a little flesh-eating bacteria <laughs> Ew. in here. And he's in like a goo, I think. I like, kind of like that. In a little Petri dish? Flesh-eating streptococcus pyogenesis. Strepta, strepta what? I gotta tell you guys about that. First, I want Ooh. to touch you with this. That thing's awesome and sauce. This, this oh. is leprosy. Oh, great. Oh, you just rubbed leprosy all over me? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for leprosy. Oh, but he's the softest thing you've ever... Like, come on. You want leprosy. Wait, let's look at what he does. This is a strep oh. throat. This well, is a strep throat. Yeah. Is that strep throat? I it's love not. How, it's flesh eating. That's do a you think they have any float. like strep throat? Do you think they have any problems going through customs clearing oh, like boxes yes. of diseases? Like yes, <laughs> unless they, do they have to call it something to else. Call it something else, like yeah. just um, whatever. Orange plus germs. Orange guy. Yeah, because like orange bean. If you start labeling your boxes as germs and Look, and Trojan horses and it's leprosy. He's falling apart. Oh no. Oh no. And yeah. Had a little microbe. Look, it actually teaches you what a worm is, what a Trojan is, what malware is. It actually gives you a, a, a real definition. Oh, and this tells you all about leprosy. It's educational. Buy it for your kids. It actually is totally educational. So, um, again, you can get these at giantmicrobes.com. These range, the, this is the one of the little plush, so this guy's like nine bucks. And they have bigger ones that go up to $30. Uh, same with those guys. Those guys start out lower, uh, get bigger. And oh, this is flesh eating disease. It's not strep throat. He, here's something very interesting <laughs> that I don't think you even know about. Okay. Between now and the end of the year, if you go spend $50 at microbes.com, you can use the co code TOYBREAK13, all one word, for $10 off. Whoa. What? Crazy. Do it. Let's see. You know what else is going on right now? If you're watching this uh, episode as soon as it goes up, the mi Giant Microbes are having their, wait, I want to say this right, the 12 Days of Giant Microbes Christmas Giveaway on Facebook, and that's going on through December 20th, so if you want to go check out their Facebook, Giant Microbes, you might win something. You might win super soft leprosy. 
Oh Feel my. this guy. Feel him. He's so awesome. Look at the it's flesh eating guy has a fork and knife on him. He's ready to eat He's your skin. He's eating. <laughs> I like the keychain. I like these guys are kind of fun. I could see like the tech guys like nerding out a little bit on this. Oh, zeros and ones. It's cute, right? What do you think? This is this is a product that's not for me. Hey, look. No, I, I Grouch get is it. on couches. Here, I get here, it. here, Grouch. Have leprosy. I, get it. I think these you. are funny. Also, I think these would make really funny <laughs> gifts. You could give a kid a book a bookworm, and you're like, oh look, it's a bookworm. That's funny. Oh, I get it. <laughs> this is, I'm out of the conversation on this one. This one's not for me. Sarah, wish granted. <laughs> there you go. I do like this pop-up, however. This is really clever. That's great for the tag. Yeah, I like this tag a lot. Oh, and for those ones, you can go to computervirusdolls.com. That's, that's, this is a really cool feature. I like the way they made that. It's like one of those birthday cards. Uh, speaking um, of Sarah. Yes. Shall we get to a voicemail? Yeah. Okay, sure. Hi, Toy Break. It's Sarah from Oregon. Calling again to say hi and see how you guys are doing. I love the show. I just had a question for you guys. As a new toy collector, I was wondering, besides yourself, where are some good places to find some toys? I've been checking your guys' sponsors and stuff, like Tenacious Toys and 3D Retro, but I've also been checking Vinyl Pulse, and I'm just kind of wondering in the community where are good places to see what's coming out as a new collector. So, love your guys' show. I was just watching some old episodes. I would love to see the Suck Lord back on. He's so cynical and makes stories actually look cheerful so love that anyways love you guys george aileen and ben can't wait for the new episode hope you guys had a good halloween hopefully i'll see a new episode soon bye all right so we had sarah call again now just so people don't think sarah's crazy i mean sarah might be crazy i can't tell yet <laughs> But uh, <laughs> she like she didn't call like one in a row. Like we were just we haven't had no. a chance to get to voicemails during, during decon time. We were just backed up on. <laughs> That's probably why it says like hope you guys yes. had a good Halloween because that yeah, was right we, when right. decon was happening. Right. So, so it's we not apologize, like, Sarah, she's that not we didn't get to in, these until just now. She's not calling in December saying I hope your Halloween was great. <laughs> Although you should because that's hilarious. Um, what was that one about? I forget already. Where should you go to... Where should you go to find out about new stuff? And also, Suck Lord makes you look happy. Yeah. Which is, again, why am I the grumpy one? I don't know. I don't know where Have you watched from. the show? No, I've never well, there seen you it. Go. Um, um, where right, should you so... go? Spankystokes.com. Yeah, I mean, Spanky Stokes, Toys Revo, Vinyl Pulse. Um... Slower, slower. They need to write these things down. Well, rewind it and slow me down. Um, there's also sites like uh, like Tramped. Tramped is great. They have mm -hmm. great, like... Um, I guess like libraries almost of like toys, right? Isn't that kind of what they do? I mean, there's like, yeah, but they also like, have a blog now too. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's places like Awesome Toy Blog, which is another like. That's a great one. We they, they do great uh, Comic Con coverage every year. They do. Um, you know, it it really depends on what kind of toys you're looking for because Vinyl Pulse really covers just like the main artsy kind of yeah stuff. Uh, Spanky. You know Spanky's uh, dke dot com dke toys dot com slash blog. They have the Fresh Flash every week. Right. Of that's new good. stuff that's coming out that you're going to see disseminating into, you know, going out into the stores. Yeah. And then start following um, the companies on Facebook, uh, so some of the manufacturers on Facebook. And, and Friendster and MySpace. Yeah. No. <laughs> but uh, you'll you'll be informed that way, too. So, yeah. Where else should she go to buy things? Roto Fuji's another great store besides... Yeah. Uh, who else has like a lot of like? I mean, obviously, Kid Robot has Kid Robot stuff. Who else has like a good variety of stuff? There's my plastic heart. Yes. My uh, plastic Urban heart. Outfitters. They're great for vinyl no. toys, right? No. <laughs> no. I think you're thinking of Suburban Vinyl. <laughs> Suburban Vinyl. Urban, Urban Vinyl. vinyl Urban Vinyl Daily has a blog. They do stuff. Tenacious yes. Toys. Um, she already said that one. Though. Okay. Uh, There's so many great places. Click links in the show. Go back to a few episodes. Just start yeah. clicking links. Or, yeah, like, if you guys have uh, other suggestions, put them up. Suggestions? We have, there's a couple threads on the forum 
where people have started like, hey, what blogs do you follow? Or like, what stores do you go to? And things like that. Although if you follow all the ones we mentioned, you're going to spend all day reading just those. So. Or go to the Design and Toy Awards page and see all the nominees. Remember Ooh, Panic's Toy idea. Box? They were a sponsor back in the day. They are still around. They still sell. They have hmm. a Friday the 13th sale that just they happened. They do. Ooh. I miss Panic's Toy Box. Where's Panic's Toy Box? They're still doing their thing. Go Panic's Toy Box. If you watch early episodes, you'll hear us mention them. Really? Quite a bit. All right, That's the we... nice thing about a sponsor is you're stuck in there for life. So if people That's go back and watch old stuff, sponsor. you're still in there. It's bang for your we buck, We don't take you your name out after the month's up. Yeah, we <laughs> go back and edit it out. <laughs> go back and edit it and put in new names. All right, show us something else you got. Um, what do we got? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to interrupt this review uh, section leprosy. with a mail call. Mail um, call. Mail call. So this one I'll show second, but this one is, this is actually for Ben. Okay. Mail for Ben. Yay, mail. <laughs> so good. Oh, look at that. That's great. So it's the Stape of Marshmallow Man and Slimer chasing Doc and the DeLorean. Who's pulling you. On the hoverboard. On the, on the hoverboard. hoverboard. <laughs> all while E.T. and Elliot are flying over the moon. <laughs> Amazing. And I think you're at Vasquez Rocks. That's possible. <laughs> it's either that or... Yeah, it's a rock. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mine happens to be in color. What? <laughs> Whoa. Well, describe. <laughs> I don't know if that you I can. You have to start. I think you just have to look at it. <laughs> no, come on, George. You're what sitting there with, little jo- with uh, Curious it's George. It's me with Curious George while... Boba Fett, oh, Ninja Turtles biting Boba Fett's head. Two he, Ninja Turtles are attacking Boba Fett. Boba Fett is punching <laughs> He-Man. Man, while He-Man is making Skeletor go down on Lion-O. <laughs> and Smurfs are parachuting, parachuting in to join to the He-Man's fun. Head. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> Makes awesome. perfect sense. That's perfect pretty sense. much a typical day That's what, around the Toy Break That Break is studios. a typical day. <laughs> Poor Skeletor. <laughs> Why he- are the Turtles eating Boba Fett? Because that's what, lost the teeth. That's what they do. They they eat Boba Fett. That is amazing. Uh, so these were by Show Lee. So you thank you for sending these in. Thank um, you. Very cool. Thank you for. I know right where Ben is going to put this because it's Back to the Future. Right into the collection. Right into the Back to the Future room. There it is. Yay! So thank you, Show Lee, for watching and doing some fun art. Thank you. Like show something? Uh, yeah, let's do some more stuff. Please um, do. More stuff. So I got these more things leprosy? the other day. This is like my new favorite thing. I just want to like <laughs> do this all day. Ooh, um, what's that? And these I want to rub it on people. Ooh. These are called power trains. Um, who, power who trains. Makes this? Oh, it's Jax. Jack Specific makes these. Um, these are called power trains. Collect, connect, expand. Whoa. This is actually series three. I don't that, have any of the tracks. I don't have any of the other trains that make it run. That sounds like a corporate slogan. Um, but <laughs> this happens to be they have a pack of graffiti graffiti trains. Oh, so, so they're not all graffiti? No, they're no. like normal trains. Like it's a normal train set that oh. you play with. But no, they have like fire rescue and they have um, dairy freight. There's different the special special ops. Set, Tokyo like bullet different... train like it's all just different stuff but this happens to be the graffiti pack um, which I just I, I collect little graffiti type things mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so I have to of course get the graffiti pack of trains nice. so now this is a four pack of trains it goes for ten dollars over at uh, Toys R Us Not bad. and the four packs come with uh, one car that has a special feature and I don't know what the special feature is on this set and I don't know if we can know what it is because we don't have the track, but... Um, I wonder what it could be. It's probably one of them, like, lights up or something. I don't know. Like, if you're if on the other ones, it's like a crane will work or something. But it's like, cool because I think you can you just connect it. them, right? And then, like... Oh, yeah. Choo-choo! I think I have a single one that I got from this line a while back that was another graffiti one, so maybe it was, it was one that... Right? My imagination. <laughs> <laughs> can't tell him how to play. I can't. Hey, Steve. Down there, uh, right next to that desk, underneath that pi- that bag of figures, there are some <gasps> Hot Wheel cars. Can you pass those over? 
And so, thanks for coming to work today, by the way. Yeah, Steve finally showed up. So um, Hot Wheel also does Look how great they roll. a line of graffiti cars and stuff. So this is I've been buying a few of them. Anytime I see the graffiti ones. Um, but they, they have some graffiti cars as well. Which I thought was kind of cool. Oh no, get off the track! <laughs> Ooh. And these are like these are nice because it's they you do, know, don't they? They just have awesome. good weight. It's a buck. It's always cool to be able to buy toys that are so a buck. Great. Why don't we do that? You know they do that at other shows. They have Hot Wheel races. Why don't we do that at Decon? Ooh. People actually get like certain weighted we certain weighted ones, and they like look for special ones to like race faster than other ones. I think they've had like five or that. six different um, graffiti cars so far. I th I have a bunch of them is there that in the other room. This is cool. Yeah, um, and then this was uh, Pablo on the forum was able to uh, give me a tip mm. about this. Came out in two thousand six from <laughs> Maisto. Is that right? Maisto International. Maisto. They were from Fontana, California. Hey. But uh, this was an old. It was uh, DJ Lady Tribe. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry, I don't know. I find that funny. Tribe was immersed in the culture of diverse makeup underground graffiti. So it's a graffiti artist from LA, and uh, they actually put her on a train, a train set. So, but this is a little bit different scale than that other one. Is this the front of the bus or the? I can't. That's why I said, "Is that a bus?" Because that's the front. This is the front. That's got to be the front, right? Because I was like, "Wait, that doesn't quite look like a bus." And I have some other ones of this scale that are graffiti oh, trains look as well. With it. Oh wow. Um, that goes with this. So I have a few of these other ones. I like that it comes with like track as a base. But this is a nice like feel that. That's a good like. Ooh. Much more substantial than the other one. It feels more like a toy. Yeah. Is this die cast? Yeah, I think mm -hmm. so. That's why. It's cool, right? If you put them next to each other. You got yourself a train yard. Ha! Train yard. Ben just made a train yard. Done. So those are some cool little, if you're into the little graffiti style stuff, that's some stuff that's out there right now. Um, and this it's kind one, of an affordable thing you to look on eBay. Yeah. I mean, $10 for four cars. And that, if you get another set, you could cu customize them. Yeah. Nice. Definitely. And these are cool because it's only a buck. So. Well, Hot Wheels are cool. always cool for always a buck. True debt. Oh, yo. Um, all right. What's up next? Video, Vince. All right, these Video. were a Kickstarter. Yay, I backed Kickstarter. it. Um, this is Dan Goodsell. He's been on the show before many times, a couple Mr. times. Mr. Toast. Um, this was his Mr. new Toast. character, Vince, the videotape. Mm -hmm. I'm um, sorry, what's a videotape? And if you back <laughs> the Kickstarter, it was for Obsolete Vince. That was the only way to get Obsolete Vince. He's Aww. dead. Nobody um, uses him anymore. So oh, you can still, I believe currently, if you go to your local favorite shop, like all those ones we were just mentioning, mm -hmm. you should be able to either order or ask them to order for you Vince. You could also tape. order him straight from MrToast.BigCartel.com oh, for go. only $7. There you Ooh. go. Nice. It's an 8-inch plush for $7. That's less than a dollar an inch. That's yes. That's what she said. hey -o. So we got the both regular version and the obsolete version. Yay! We actually talked about these before when Dan was on. Yeah. Last time, during the Kickstarter. But, but now they're, they're here. here. They and arrived. that's awesome. And they shipped. Kickstarter fulfilled. We got number 64. Nice. Yay. And he drew a little, like, it's a personalized tag. which was I got mine. Cool. I didn't check what number mine was, though. All right. Uh, should we do another voicemail? Yeah. Let's okay. Who do we got? All right, this, is our, this is our last voicemail. All right. Hi, Toy Break. Happy seventh year anniversary can't believe you guys have been going on this long. I love the show. I hope you guys are going on for another seven, ten years. Um, I was just wondering what George and Aileen that you are wishing for Christmas. If you could have any toy that you wanted, no matter the price, what would you ask for and what would you wish for? And I'm not sure why that cut off right there. Well, then. I'd really love oh, to know Oh, Eileen, what... if you have a guy. <laughs> I, so right now I'm it really hoping wine. it was the wine. I hope she calls back and lets us know she she's okay. <laughs> oh. Sarah, what happened? Sarah from Oregon. Oregon. Or Oregon, Oregon. 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 Oregon or Oregon? Oregon. 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 Oregon, Sarah. No. Oh. Sarah's not coming. <laughs> so we need to answer Sarah's question, but we also need Sarah to call back and tell us, one, how the Lego building went with the wine. And two, that she's okay. <laughs> Episode seven. And that she forgives us for not 
getting these to these so calls sooner. Two something something. Sarah's so thank you dead. for watching. I don't. Come on now, not cool. <laughs> I don't know if we'll be doing. Will we be doing this for ten more years, you guys? God, I hope not. Yeah. Yes. Totally. I wanna, you really? You want to stop? No, I want to do this when we're like 90. I want to be 90 and be like, oh, I got the new Hot Wheels. It's only $7. It's why the cheapest do, toy around. Why do these things weigh so much? <laughs> wow. Awesome. Awesome. I don't know why I would talk like that. Like my grandfather didn't talk like that when he was old. He kind of did. <laughs> Give me my socks. So if you guys could afford any toy, what short would it pants. be? Any toy. No, nope, my money's... dirty shoes. Get your shirt from short pants and your dirty shoes. <laughs> money is no object. Well, you too. What do you want for, day for the Christmas? Uh, I'm gonna feed the pygmies. My grandfather told me that one day. He said it was a good day for the pygmies. <laughs> what does that even mean? I think he meant aborigines. <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know. He also. It's would throw the... his fingernails <laughs> That on... was a different grandpa. Oh, oh, that God. was? I yeah. thought that was the same. No. It's a good day for the pygmies. Any toy. <laughs> she didn't ask Ben. It... Well, then answer. I got no answer. Ask Ben. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Any toy, regardless of No matter price. what price. That's a tough one. I mean, can we put the show on hold and think about it, or are we just going to keep going? I still want uh, I some know. of the original cost figures, which cost a lot of money. And George wants the Boba Fett cost figure. No, I don't care about that. It's $800. I don't want it, though. Oh. There are some <laughs> zoom-off minifig eraser-type toys that I would like, and I'm just, I can't bring myself to pay, like, 70 or $80 for a toy that's, Ooh. like, an inch and a half, two inches big. Like, I, I kind of, like, if I saw it in person, I might do it, but I, I, I have trouble over the internet. So I'm going to go with zoom-off. I think I think most of mine is I can't pick one, but a lot of the older vinyl that's like really expensive. Even like some Michael Lau? Um some some of the Michael Lau stuff, but more more Bounty so Hunter? like Bounty Hunter old stuff, uh even like Kozik's old things, like um the the older Labbits that he did even in Japan. So, you know, things like that. Like really collectible pieces did you answer no i mean if i just have to pick some random like urban yeah. vinyl thing i'll pick uh turtle camper I it still, doesn't have I, to I, be I, no it doesn't have to be that actually you know what all right i take it back i want there's i i passed on the um the ad at the adidas ad at what was that thing called oh the um was it the one that ad at it was or ad at ad at ad at yeah Ad-at. i passed on that when it came out I remember that. and then like because i was like really like a star wars mix like uh, and then, like now i'm like i, I like, kind of want that star wars that and the turtle camper like when the turtle camper came out i was like eh. you were like it's but gonna now be i'm like it's so cute now when i see it i'm like yeah and i didn't think it was gonna like sell out like that but i think i well, have a turtle camper didn't sell out. really the jeremy fish one yeah i have one was there yes. another turtle camper i thought he meant the ninja turtle like <laughs> no. band camper thing the, the actual the the jeremy fish one yeah okay. no i have i have one of those do you have two so that I can have one? I don't know. I might have a gold and I might have a regular. I want the regular. I'll we'll, check on that. We'll look into the camper situation. But that was a very good question, Sarah. And Sarah, what you're new to... I, I would still consider you uh, a new collector, according to your last couple calls. Uh, what would you get? What, what do you want for a holiday if money were no object? What toy? Actually, hmm. that's a good question for the forum and, and YouTube. What, what, tell us what toy you would get. Money's no object. Do What's it. What's the thing that you're like, yes, I want that. Yeah, I can't and, really think of other stuff. And then Aileen and George will buy it for you. <laughs> 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 All right, let's move on. What else? Do yeah, we that's gonna happen. All right, so another thing. Yay! What's this? What's this? This one is odd because it, it came this way. Whoa! It you're holding it upside down. Nope. Upside down. This is the way it was at. No, um, no, no. It was accidentally packed upside down. I bought it because I figured no one else is gonna, and we're gonna open it anyway. Cut it! So. Cut it! Cut it! So this is uh, Predator figures, obviously. This is mm-hmm. Dutch versus Jungle Hunter. Mm-hmm. Not sure why mm-hmm. I called Jungle Hunter instead of just Predator. Uh, obviously from NECA. These are seven inch action figures. You get the set for 30 bucks. Whoa, I smell that. That is some strong I smell that. ass action figure smell. Ass action figure, strong ass. Well, yeah, They're, look at him. Gimme, 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 gimme. 
You've seen Predator, right, Ben? Yes. Did you like Predator? I was never into the... Honestly, I don't know why, but like growing up, I was never into like the horror films. I was more into comedies. This is a comedy. Get to the chopper. I know. It's get to the chopper. Stars Dylan, two you governors. Son of a bitch. Stars two governors. Wait. <laughs> Who's the second governor? <laughs> Jesse Ventura. Oh my God, you're right. <laughs> wow. Ain't got time to bleed. <laughs> I happen to like Predator. Okay. <laughs> did you take the mask out? I did. I want to see this is cool, fits. actually. And George broke something. No. What was the time on that, everyone? It came off. It comes <laughs> off. <laughs> Doesn't really... I love that NECA has like all the Arnold figures that they've done. I don't know. Maybe they they keep using the same. Listen head to or... me. Uh huh. California. Uh huh. California. California. I can't, I can't do it. California. Yeah. Hey, ben. <laughs> Vote for me. As governor of California. Oh, I'm pregnant, your maid. <laughs> oh, oh I mean, really? Only, only my maid. Get it right. Like Look at the cool, like, necklace. Oh, like, oh that I'm was pregnant. awful. Look at all the cool little skulls ah. and everything on his neck, on his bracelet. What is that? Necklace? This does not fit his head, though. That's kind of Maybe disappointing. Maybe it fits. Oh, these are creepy. I like it. Oh, this thing's basically broken. I didn't do it. That thing right there. That's that needs to be fixed. Oh hey predator dude, just just another predator dude hanging out with you. <laughs> oh it is broken. That sucks. Yeah, you smell like a predator. Maybe it was when you back bended him in the package. You bent him. him. Let me see the Arnold. <laughs> oh, look at all the like individual dreads. That's a pretty decent Arnold though. It is. It's a very decent Arnold actually. As much as I love this movie, this face kind of scared me a little at the end. Like yeah. it didn't like make me like. Scream or anything, but you're kind of like, oh my gosh! It's got that whole like, like that comes after you. Bug face, bug face. I want all the rest That's of scary. them. I want like the, I want Jesse Ventura. I want the Indian guy that cuts his own chest open on oh. the bridge. Like, I never realized his feet were so like thick and big. Wow, I didn't realize that either. It's kind of neat, right? Yeah. This is great. I mean, I think for fifteen dollars each. He's just kind of a normal figure. He's a well-made, well, it looks to be well-made. We've only played with him for a moment. Um, very articulated figure. This is totally worth $15. For the detail that's on there and all the little accessories. I hate this articulation. I dark? hate this Why? ab crunch articulation. Because that's one point. Do the ab cruncher. It, he can do ab crunches. Here's the thing. I don't need my action figure to do ab crunches. Like, but it's Arnold. He needs to do ab crunches. <laughs> he, like, on my shelf, he's going to be this. doing it. Look at that. He's doing ab crunches. Come on, show him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Faster, faster, faster. Yes, okay. Stronger, faster, stronger. So yes. my figures don't need to do that, and it just looks <laughs> crappy. Like, it never looks good. Look at his abs. That's amazing. But I think that's, well, yeah. I mean, it's the best it's going to look. I kind look. of agree with you. It looks better than that. But I'd rather uh, just... That, just, like, T-middle thing. Oh, just sculpt yeah. it. Just sculpt a figure. Like, I don't need this. How how much more of a... Po uh, there, look. He's looking down at the ground. I can do that pose. Awesome. <laughs> I'm an old man. <laughs> yeah, like, what pose are you doing with this? What can you possibly get out of that pose that you can't get out of a regular... Anyway, toys are worth it. Was oh, it he could tie his shoe. Look, Remember that he... time in the movie where he did that? <laughs> I wish he could reach his arm to set off the detonator. <laughs> so oh, these are cool. Oh, oh, oh. You don't remember the end of the movie, do you? <laughs> I like this. And 7-inch action figure. What do you guys think about that scale? 7-inch scale. Love it. You do? Yeah, I like it. I actually don't really care about the Arnold figure. Good. Go stay on my desk. Good. I'll take the Predator. And then at night, they'll meet in the middle of the room and battle it out. Just like that guy's movie. Yours right. is broken. Mine's not. All right, what else oh. do we got? <laughs> Somebody won't fix it. Okay. Well, Last up off. is another Kickstarter. Do we have time? Sure. Okay. What do we got? Um, this is... Ubuli. Ooh, I like that. Ubuli. Ubuli. Um, is it's the actually. Yeah, I got the purple. What color did you get? I think I got the purple one too. Yay. Nice. Um, this is for ages four to ten. So we're totally so core not. Core demographic is me. We are not qualified <laughs> um, for this. Whew. 
So what this is, he's just a little stuffed animal. It's a uh-huh. magical stuffed animal. He's a magical stuffed animal. He's got a little face in there. Mm-hmm. But he's got a zipper on here. And okay. what you do is you take your phone. What are you doing, George? What are you doing with your phone? And there's an app you download. Uh-huh. Which is right here. Yeah. That you turn on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Turn the sound on. Mm-hmm. And then you turn it upside down. And you load him into here. Well, that's the end of super serious question time. I feel like I know you a little bit better now. We were playing with it already. I know. Let's do Hold this. On. Tap my face and I'll give you a quick tour of my brain. Whoa. Okay, here's how I work. If you're in the middle of an activity and you want to skip ahead to a new activity, swipe Throw low, it far. like you're turning the page in a book. When you want She's to talking. back to a previous activity, swipe right. Let's practice now. I'll start Don't. saying a letter Hold of the on. alphabet. You swipe left to go to the next letter, or swipe right to go to the previous letter. Okay, here we go. What? I wasn't listening. Swipe right. She's going to say a letter. Hold on. No, I paused it. Say something. Throw it. You're not doing anything. Oh wait, I fast forwarded it. Oh. What's happening? This is a terrible toy. Start over. It was so cute when we first started it. Anyways, the whole concept is that you put your iPhone or your Android phone into it with the app, then you give it to your kids, and it keeps your kids occupied. But unlike just watching a video or something. So it's a way to get rid of your kid. Yes. And. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and it actually is educational, and there's games, but educational games, and, you know, it's like the whole thing with the video, like, even the tutorials, like, alphabet, <gasps> alphabets and all that good stuff. Oh, my gosh. What's up? We what? just found that there's a way to customize the face. What? What? You can what? have little glasses? Push it back in. All right. But why isn't it doing anything? Well, I think you need to get out of that now. Huh. Is that my name? <laughs> yeah, you know your name, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, so this was the this is the Kickstarter version, the purple one. You can still get a different color version because I think the purple one is is exclusive to Kickstarter by going to oobly.com. <gasps> there you go. Glasses. Show them. We put glasses on it. <laughs> <laughs> so these are only thirty dollars. Which is awesome. Wait, um, I want to play that. I want to play that. It's not. Playing. I want to throw it. Don't get confused though. A lot of people were like, oh, "Oh, thirty dollars," it. and it's like you get, you know, the whole thing, and it talks. It's like you still need to have need to an I'm iPod Touch, Thank you. or an iPhone, or an Android, or some kind of device that you put inside of it to run the application. Otherwise, right. you just have. A nice plush toy with the face, but it doesn't really do anything. But the face is still cute, and it's a cute little plush yeah. toy. I mean, it's still so, a cute thing. So, I'm actually really glad they got funded. This is a great idea, and, um, yeah. Go out, and if it's you know really somebody... It's cute. This, I think for $30, this would make a great uh, holiday gift. That would make a great present. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. All right, shall we on to some events? <laughs> Well, coming up, not too long from now, is the Mr. Toast Show. It's new work from Dan Goodsell at Gallery 1988 East in Los Angeles, California, opening July, I mean January 4th, <laughs> not July. Mm-mm. That uh, You can find out more at gallery1988.com. And you know what comes up not long after that, Ben. What? 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 Tell us. Tell me, tell me. 24-hour toy break! <laughs> puppet bend to do that right now. Uh, So, starting at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, on Friday, January 24th, we will be broadcasting live for 24 hours. All three of us, Scott will be here, Sarah Jo will stop by, we're going to have some, we have some other confirmed guests and artists. Oh, it's going to be good. Uh, Sometimes people show up and surprise us. Last year, Tristan Eaton showed up and talked about the Dunny, like, the the evolution of the Dunny at, like, 2 a.m. 
That could happen. Who knows so what's going to happen? It doesn't matter where you live. You will be able to join us. At some point. You're right. So it goes until 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Saturday, January 25th. And, of course, you can watch it right here at toybreak.com. And there's going to be amazing things uh, being <gasps> sold. And there's going to be, Luke Chu's going to be uh, drawing, drawing bears with hats. Bears with uh, cowboy hats. penises on them. Big cowboy hats. Cowboy hats, I mean. And amazingness is going to ha- happen. All to uh, help people Or maybe people not. Do you know this is going to be the fourth one that we're doing? Amazing. Fourth? Fourth. Man. 24 on 24. Wow. 20, wow. 24 on 24? It's on the 24th. Oh, 24, 24 on 24. I got my pin from last year. Oh, that's right, pins. We need our commemorative pins. That would be good. I wonder if our if our uh, if only we lab had a sponsor. Like Button Lab. Mm-hmm. I wonder. All right. So, anything else, you guys? That's it. Uh, Let's look at how cute this is again. It was cuter when it was doing stuff. We'll make it do stuff again. I don't know how. I'm apparently too stupid to run a kids app. No. I gave it leprosy. No. Oh. <laughs> That's sad. All right. Well, that is it for episode 289. Oh, my. Wow. Flushing virus. I think I need to purchase things for this now. We've gone past the free. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, don't forget, in case you need to purchase... In case you need to purchase apps, you can save money online with Toy Break coupons. You can check the show notes at toybreak.com for complete details as well as links to everything we talk about. And for a limited time until the end of the year, don't forget you can use Toy Break 13 as a coupon code for $10 off your $50 order at Microbes. Do it. Uh, giantmicrobes.com. Uh, you can also watch past episodes at toybreak.com. You can join the contest in the forum. You can do what you do every day, which is shopping on Amazon, but do it through the Toy Break site. Just click the little link on the left. Boom. Helps the show. Boom. Doesn't cost you an extra penny. It's pretty awesome. I do it all the time. Uh, You can also call and leave a voicemail just like Sarah did at 818-AM-I-GOOD. Sarah, please call us back. We want to know that you're okay. Yes. Uh, You can email us, info at toybreak.com. You can keep up with us on Facebook at facebook.com slash toybreak. You can check out our toy briefs, toy girls, and full toy break episodes at youtube.com slash toybreak. You can follow us on Instagram or on uh, Twitter at toybreak. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Twitter at Alien Gaspar at George Gaspar and uh, at 3D Retro and uh, at B Goretzky on Instagram. Leprosy, leprosy. So soft. All right. Well, George, unless you want to show us anything else on your iPhone. No. This All right. It. Well, I guess that's it, everyone. Thank you for watching. We will see you next week. Same toy time, same toy channel. Bye. Boobly.